welcome back to our channel. Today we delve into the captivating world of street gangs and explore the intriguing history of one of the most notorious organizations in America, the Gangster Disciples. Prepare to be taken on a journey through time as we unravel the origins, growth, and impact of this influential street gang. Let's dive in. In the late 1960s, the gang was formed on the streets of Chicago, Illinois. Larry Hoover, who was also known as King Larry, and David Barksdale started it. They each started the Black Disciple Nation, BDN, and the Black Gangster Disciple Nation, BGDN. Larry Hoover was a dynamic leader who tried to bring together different African-American street gangs to fight racism, oppression, and social and economic problems in their neighborhoods. In 1969, the Gangster Disciples were formed when Hoover's BDN and Barksdale's BGDN joined together. As their sign, they chose the six-pointed star, which stands for love, life, loyalty, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. The Gangster Disciples grew quickly and had a lot of power and people in the 1970s and 1980s because they had a clear goal and strong leadership. They set up a clear organization and set of rules to keep things running in a disciplined and planned way. The gang's participation in drug dealing was an important part of their growth. The Gangster Disciples had a lot of power and money because they were in charge of large areas and sold drugs like cocaine and heroin. This led to their presence in places like Atlanta, Memphis, and Los Angeles in addition to Chicago. As the Gangster Disciples became more well-known, they got into fights with other gangs, especially the Vice Lords and the Black Pea Stones. Most of the time, these disagreements turned into violent fights over land, drugs, and power. After David Barksdale died in 1974, there was a feud between the Gangster Disciples and the Black Gangster Disciples that went on for years. This was one of the most well-known fights in gang history. The split caused a deep rift in the organization, which led to years of fighting and violence between the different groups. As the Gangster Disciples grew, law enforcement agencies also paid more attention to them. Their criminal actions caught the attention of the police, which led to many arrests, trials, and sentences. Under the racketeer-influenced and corrupt organizations, RICO Act, Larry Hoover, the head of the Gangster Disciples and the group's founder, was found guilty in 1995. He got a life sentence without the chance of release, which took him out of the leadership of the gang. Even though they get into fights and do things that are controversial, the Gangster Disciples also try to help their neighborhoods and bring about good change. Some members have started neighborhood programs, mentorship programs, and outreach projects to reduce crime and help young people who don't have a lot of options. Through these programs, former gang members have tried to make amends and change, and they are using what they have learned to keep younger people from following in their footsteps and getting involved in violence and crime. The Gangster Disciples still have a strong presence in a number of places today, though their impact is much lower than it once was. Even though they still do bad things in some places, some of their members have moved on from the gang life and are trying to make things better. It is important to keep in mind that the Gangster Disciples have a long and complicated past. Even though they have committed crimes and helped keep violence going in some neighborhoods, it is important to understand the structural problems that lead to the formation and growth of street gangs. The past of the Gangster Disciples is a complicated and interesting story that shows the battles and problems that underrepresented groups face. It shows how important it is to have complete plans to deal with the problems that cause poverty, inequality, and limited chances. Even though the story of the Gangster Disciples is full of strife, violence, and crime, it's important to remember that things can change for the better. Many people who used to be part of the gang have changed their lives and are now trying to make a difference in their neighborhoods. As we learn about the past of street gangs, it's important to do so with compassion, understanding, and a desire to find answers that stop the cycle of violence and give people a chance to grow and develop. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of the Gangster Disciples. 
Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Stay tuned for our next video, where we delve into another fascinating chapter in history. Until then, take care and keep exploring.